Hi there, Ron here from Clustered Networks. Today I'm going to talk about seven command line add-on utilities that are essential in Linux. So these don't come native in any flavor of Linux that I know of, but these are add-on utilities, so you do have to install them. And uh, if you go to our um, blog page, I'll have a link in this below, but it talks about essential command line utilities for Linux. It shows you how to install them into a Debian based Linux and then also I'll sh show you briefly how some of these utilities are useful and how you can benefit them. These are ones that I use almost every day. So the first one of course is uh, Terminator. Now every Linux comes with a terminal window but Terminator takes it to the ne next level and I'm going to show you why. There's a few things that it does. First of all it allows you to be able to split the screen either horizontally or vertically. So vertically, so you can have it split this way or you can have it split this way. And um, you know, simply to exit out, you just simply exit and the and the screens disappear. Another nice thing you can do um, is that you can run commands simultaneously on each server with Terminator. So this is very helpful if you're running multiple servers and you want to update maybe five servers at the same time rather than going to one doing an update then going to the next one doing an update and So on and so on. So I'm going to show you how you do this um, I'm going to log in here on this window to a different server. So I'm going to SSH Ron at I'm just going to use a local server here that I have <clears throat> there we are so now I'm logged in clear the screen I'm gonna just run NeoFetch on both these computers to show you what I mean so you can broadcast turn it off you can broadcast to all that means to all the screens that you have open in Terminator so let's just run NeoFetch here. As you can see, it runs on both machines at the same time on my desktop, plus it's running on my server. So very useful tool. And like I said before, if you're updating multiple servers, this is definitely the way to do it. So that's one of the features that I really like about uh, Terminator rather than your basic terminal window. window. So I'm just going to exit out of this one. First of all, I'll turn off the broadcast. Clear the screen here. There we go. So now looking at our blog page here, the next one, NeoFetch, is what I just showed you. So let's run that command again. So this is just a simple server that I use for backing up things it's just a Celeron processor a dual core nothing really fancy uh, 8 gigs of RAM and it basically backs up different devices that I've got for different servers so it kind of shows you the OS shows you what OS is running the host name um, the uptime um, different packages the bash shell that you're using the terminal uh, your CPU your GPU and your memory so very useful tool that one is. The next one is HTOP. So HTOP is like the top command in Linux. It shows you that um, how many processes are running and you can find out which ones are. So say if you've got a, a process that's hung up and is chewing up all your memory or bandwidth, um, this would be able to tell you um, you know which ones using the memory and hung up or whatever it might be and you might want to kill that command so that's a useful tool is HTOP another one is called glances what this does is it gives you a glance at a certain server that you're running so here you can see that uh, everything is green meaning uh, the load is good the swap file is good. The memory being used is only one gig 
compared to 8. Uh, processor is good and it shows you everything all my processes that's running on this server are good. Now green means everything is okay if you've got something it might need something that means it needs attention. Violet is an alert and red is critical so it might be a process that's hung up or something like that. So that's a very useful tool uh, as well. So all you have to do is sudo apt install uh, glances to get that that one working. The next one is called uh, chk root kit. So this does exactly what the name says. So I'll just exit out of here, clear this. So a chk root kit checks to see whether someone has compromised your server or not and is running a root kit. Mentions here that I need sudo privileges, so I'm going to go see sudo chk root kit. Here it shows whether I've got anything infected. Any of my um, terminal programs are affected, infected, I should say. And it's showing as nothing is found and everything is running properly. So it basically goes through and looks for compromises on your server. That's a very useful tool. Um, the next one is ncdu and curses disk usage so it takes the disk usage the du command to the next level and that's a very useful tool as well so i'm just going to run this as sudo so sudo minus i login there i am so ncdu you can do it right on the root directory um, so you can find out what's taking up room on a server very, very easy. And once this loads up, I'll just show you how you can uh, navigate into different directory, directories to find out what's, what are the big files on that server and which ones are taking the most room. It shouldn't take too long here. So, as mentioned, you can go into the var. So if it's a web server, you go into var um, www and you can find out which, which, um, which files or which websites are taking up the most room on a server. And you can navigate uh, very simple with it. So you can find out very quickly to find out which is taking up the space on your server. Another useful tool. A VN stat is another program. What this does is measures how much bandwidth um, is being coming and going in and out of a server. So VN stat and you can go by every hour. So this will show you the hourly transfer, receiving and transmitting and total and also giving you the average rate. You can also go by the hour, the day, We'll show you the days, which um, which days are how much uh, gigabytes you're being used. You can also go T, which will show you the top last 10 days to see which which is the top server, and it shows you uh, June 23rd was the most day. And then you can also go by month. So this is useful if you have a server hosted on AWS or DigitalOcean or Linode or one of those. Um, VPS companies, you can find out how much transfer you're using on a server. So you can determine the size of server that you need to be able to run your application, whatever it might be. Another useful tool. So those are just a few of the tools that we use here at Clustered Networks. And uh, as mentioned, these are add-on tools, so you do have to install them, but it's very simple to install. Uh, I, and we have the blog up here on our website. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.